Manchester United are back in Premier League action. It's been a long time coming, but Man United at 12.30 on Saturday walk out in front of 70,000 people at Old Trafford to play Leeds. It's going to be a beautiful moment. It's going to be beautiful seeing Sancho. Will he start this game? It's going to be beautiful seeing Varane. Will he start this game? This is going to be my predicted starting 11 for the game. Not my 11 that I would start, what I think Solskjaer would start. And that's a big difference, a kind of caveat to what I'm about to say in this video. You let me know throughout this entire video in the comments what you think about my potential 11, whether you agree with it or not. You let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new in town, if you really want to help and get involved, hit that join button. Become a member of the United People's TV family. Three tiers, squad member, team captain, and UPTV legend. Anything you do put into that is only getting reinvested back into the channel to make it bigger and better. So help United People's TV get better. But let's get straight into this video and let's talk about my predicted 11 that Solskjaer will play against Leeds. Now, the first thing you've got to look at here is what have United done during the preseason? Four games, Derby, we played QPR, we played Brentford and we played Everton. In the first game against Derby, have a look here. I'll, I'll pull them up on screen. We've got Derby and QPR. 4-2-3-1 there against Derby with Garner and Levy in midfield. Matter to Heath Chong. Ilanga and Mason Grimm. Remember that we didn't have that many players back. The next game, Matic came in. He had Andreas Pereira playing there with Lingard, James Pellistri and Greenwood. So he switched on a 4-2-3-1 to, on paper, a 4-1-4-1. Skipping forward to Brentford and Everton. We played with 4-2-3-1 against Brentford. Matic and Pereira with Matter, Lingard and Ilanga. Greenwood up top. And then he had another 4-1-4-1 on paper again, with Matic lying as a deeper line midfielder. Then he had Donny van der Beek, Bruno, Mason, James and Martial. A few more established players. And that's why it's been a bit of a difficult preseason for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, because it's been very split because of Euro 2020. But in terms of the formation I expect to see against Leeds, I expect United to be playing 4-2-3-1. Remember that we're playing Leeds here. When we played Leeds at Old Trafford last time, we pumped them. <laughs> Because they they came at us fast. When we played them away later in the season, tactically they had improved as a team. They realised that you don't have to go completely gun-ho in every single game. I want to see Leeds go gun-ho in this game because it opens up spaces for United. Now, 4-2-3-1 is not the formation I want to see this season. But it's the formation I expect to see in this game. And in goal, I expect to see David De Gea. Dean Henderson, he's missed, uh, he missed St Andrews training camp with... Um, COVID or long fatigue from COVID. I think De Gea will start against Leeds. And if he plays well against Leeds, then Dean's going to have to force his way into the games, maybe through the cup tie. So I think De Gea will start this one. A back four, I'm going for Shaw. And Wamba Saka is my fullbacks. Of course I am. That will be the guarantee pretty much all season long. In every single Premier League game, you should be seeing Shaw and wan as long as they're both fit. In the middle, we all want to see Rafael Varane start. I don't think he will. I mean, it's taken so long for him to be announced because of quarantine and isolation. He hasn't had enough time to really settle in his new surroundings. Maybe we'll see him come on in the second half, but typically you don't really do that with centre-backs and make subs unless you have to. So maybe we'll have to wait until the second game to see Varane in action. I think it'll be Maguire and Lindelof. And I think in this game, with the formation I'm going for here, 4-2-3-1, with Maguire and Lindelof at the back, I think Solskjaer is going to be overly cautious in this first game because it's the first game back. He wants to get off to a strong start. He's going to try and make that defence as tight as possible. And that's why I think he's going to play a 4-2-3-1. Although I don't think he'll play Fred and McTominay. I've actually gone for Matic and Pogba. I want to explain exactly why. Matic, if you're looking at the games that's happened in the preseason, Matic is the player who really, like Barrera actually, he's featured a lot. And I think Matic will be used in this game. We do not have a defensive midfielder in this squad that is capable of playing at the level that Manchester United need to win the Premier League. We don't have a Kante. We don't have a Fabinho. We don't have an Ndidi. We've got Matic, who's too old for it. We've got Matomane, who's not a defensive midfielder. We've got Fred, who's a box-to-box -box midfielder. We've got James Garner, who's young and up and coming. It, they're all risks. They're all could-bes. Whereas the certainties of the quality you get with Varane and Sancho... We need that in defensive midfield. But Matic, I think the Solskjaer is going to turn towards him because I think we do want to play a 4-3-3 this season. And these 4-1-4-1s that are showing on sofa score for the games against Everton. Who was the other game? The game against Everton, game against QPR. It is effectively a 4-3-3 with Bruno, mate, or van der Beek against Everton dropping a little bit deeper. I think Matic will sit a little bit deeper and I think Paul Pobble will sit in front of him. Maybe Paul Pobble will play that. Maybe Andreas Pereira, Donny van der Beek. We've got options there. Who would you play there? Could see Fred or McTominay, of course. And maybe against Leeds, we won't see Fred Popper coming in there. But 
That's my guess, and maybe I'm wrong. In fact, I'm probably definitely wrong because Robert really hasn't well, he hasn't featured during this preseason that much at all. I think he came off the bench against Everton. Who will start there then? Maybe I've got that one wrong. I'm probably going to go on the video now with my predicted 11 and say, look, I've definitely got Paul Pogba on. But who plays there? Is it Pereira because he's played well during the preseason, even though he likely doesn't have a future at the club? Is it matter? It shouldn't really be matter. He's not good enough, in that, strong enough in that double pivot. Maybe he's going to switch and go towards McTominay because McTominay's got a great record against leads you let me know what you think about that in the comments below but that's the issue that Manchester United have in central midfield this year is there's just question marks everywhere whether it's playing 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3 or who plays that holding mid or who plays a double pivot questions everywhere and there's no real right answer so let me know what you think about that who should play as I said I, I predict this 4-2-3-1 I think we're going to go a little bit conservative in the first game and I'm not surprised it, it's 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 what Solskjaer is why I expect Solskjaer to do at the start this year before the likes of Sancho and Varane settle when this team can actually really start establishing itself. Now, moving on to our attackers, I think, again, Solskjaer is going to go for what he knows. I'm going to go Dan James on the left. I'm going to be going Bruno in the middle, Greenwood on the right, and Martial up front. I don't think Jadon Sancho will start this game. And for the same reason that Varane's not starting a centre-back, Sancho just hasn't had enough proper time to settle in this team in his new environment. He's only announced this week. We'll, we'll, we'll see Sancho. I think he'll come off the bench probably about the 65th minute, depending on how the game is going. But Dan James, right? He played on the right pretty much all last season for Manchester United. And you see him playing on the left for Wales. And Marcus Rashford is out until October. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to find somebody who can play that left wing. And I think we're going to see Dan James used there. Anthony Alanga will get chances there. I think Anthony Martial will play there sometimes. Maybe maybe Mason Greenwood will too. Hell, maybe even Amad Diallo will come out on the left. But I think he'll start with Dan James. And you saw how productive Dan James was for Wales at Euro 2020. Leeds were desperate to sign him. Marcel Bielsa really wanted to sign Dan James, but he couldn't get him. And I think that if uh, Marcus Rashford hadn't have got injured, I think we could have considered selling him. But he did get injured and James stayed. I think Dan James looks a lot more useful on the left-hand side than he does on the right in the same way that Marcus Rashford does. Look much better on the left. Let's see what happens there, but I predict that we're going to see Dan James. And if we're playing against Leeds, we're going to be hoping that Leeds play with a high line and that the ball's behind to Dan James. That's going to be something that Solskjaer is going to be desperate to happen. It's an easy tactic, but it works if Leeds go aggressive. If they don't go aggressive and they go deeper, then someone like James would be less ineffective. Less effective, sorry. But we'll see that in the second half with changes. In the middle, it's obvious. Like Bruno is the only one of, probably the only guarantee, really, out of this front four. Could be any number of different players playing in different positions elsewhere, but Bruno's definitely playing in that sort of central playmaker role. Bruno's going to be so important for United this season, man. You know, I suppose you build your title pushes again around your best players, and Bruno is our best player. Last year, he was actually our best player. He is our one of our biggest threats. He's the guy that's going to link everything up together. And when we're playing against teams that maybe have a, a low block, he's going to be the player that we turn towards to break that down. He's going to be the player in this game, if Leeds are playing with a higher line, that we turn to if Paul Popper plays, maybe if, he, if Paul Popper does play and he plays deeper, maybe we can turn to him. But Bruno's going to be our playmaker in this game, the person who's looking for those runs in behind from Dan James. And Mason Greenwood on the right-hand side, that's who I'm going over there, with Anthony Martial up front. Martial started against Everton. Greenwood started against Everton, got a goal to his name. Greenwood's had a decent pre preseason, I would say. And Greenwood, I think we're going to see him play in a variety of positions this year. Cavani's missing the start of the season because of, I think, quarantine, or he got a longer rest and a, a longer holiday he got in Uruguay, which means he's missing this game. I'm not sure about the next game, but that's the problem with United. There's, there's, look, we're in COVID season still. Might, the world might be opening up, but there's still... A lot of things that right now for this Leeds game, preparation-wise, we've been affected by Corona. Dean Henderson will probably be starting if it wasn't for his Corona fatigue. Cavani would probably be starting if it wasn't for the fact that he's got to isolate after that long holiday. There's plenty of other things. But that's what I'm going to go for in my predicted 11. It's not the 11 I would love to see starting, but it's the 11 I would think we're going to see in this first game. I feel that when Varane and Sancho are really settled in and Solskjaer feels more comfortable with Manchester United playing with a higher line, that we're going to see us switch to a 4-3-3, maybe with McTominay playing as that holding mid, maybe Matic, maybe both, and switching them around. But let me know what you think about that as my predicted 11. I think Dan James on the left, with Greenwood on the right, Bruno in the middmiddle, and Martial up front. You know, Solskjaer could go all out here and play Sancho from the start, play Varane for the start, but it's a 38-game season. I don't think Solskjaer is going to go completely gun home in the first game, even if Marcel Bielsa does. And I think Solskjaer were hoping We'll be hoping that he does because it will leave space in behind. And that's how we pumped Leeds at Old Trafford last time. Fingers crossed we can do it again. And maybe we'll see McTominay in midfield there. I doubt 
Having done my predicted 11, I now doubt whether Pob is going to start or not. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe as always and leave your predicted 11 in the comments. If you fancy helping the channel out, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Join as a member. Three different tiers if you want to get involved. That's how you can do it. But Leeds on Saturday. I'm excited to see, even if it's a, a team and a formation I'd I wouldn't necessarily agree with. It's just going to be incredible to see United walking out of that tunnel with Leeds in front of 70,000 fans at Old Trafford. It's been a long, long time coming. Hopefully, it's going to be three points. And would this team get those three points? You let me know what you think in the comments below. Take it easy.